Hello. So, good. First thing first, I will try to find you all. I will try to find the live. Um, that's always a challenge. <laughs> Butter nose. I might find it <laughs> soon. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, here I am. Yeah, I found myself. Hello. <laughs> okay, first of all, of course. Um, yeah. Uh, like, share, comment on this video and let us know if you have done this all. And then, uh, yeah, you might win a $50 gift certificate, which is always very, very nice. That's one. <laughs> um, I'm going to make that loose, otherwise I can't read any of the comments. Hello, yeah, Anita, ik ben er. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, I was live last Wednesday as well with a fever, completely medicated and everything. Um, I even listened back because I thought, okay, my English was horrible i was so ill last week and today uh it's not quite over yet but it's much better so <laughs> hello <laughs> i'm going to work in my december journal uh it's starting tomorrow the prompts and uh, they have been publicated so uh, everybody knows the prompts i think um, and i'm very bad at uh <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm extremely bad at doing this day by day. So I'm most of the time I'm combining prompts or doing a few uh, or whatever. So and, it, and I'm starting with number 16 and then I'm doing number two and then I'm doing number one and I'm really horrible. But I did uh, make the planner and I've showed this already. So I think maybe you have seen it. Uh, no, Jonah, no COVID. Just... Um, and my lungs but there was another kind of virus no COVID, on my lungs and i could do the live last week without coughing and after that it was horrible <coughs> and i'm still uh not quite over that but yeah i don't know exactly what it was i have asthma and uh, I, I had a lot of trouble with asthma last week but okay i'm here again my my journal i did a mixed media uh, cover uh, I did not do that uh, filming, um, but you can see I used the new stencil from Esther and I used a lot of from Esther uh, washi tapes and again stencils and inks and I did, uh, well, I used a lot. Quite fun to make and I already made the first page. You are seeing that now but I'm going to post it tomorrow. This is my Let the Fun Begin page. And this is actually the style I want to keep. So it's a bit in the same style as the front. And I, this is the style I want to do the whole December journal with. Um, I, I'm going to do the inside as well, but, but not as busy as the, as the outside. It's going to be more calm. So this is my first page. I'm going to do the back today. And I made a very fun page. I will show you. Some of you might have seen it already. Uh, this is actually the Christmas tree um, die. I don't know what the name of the set is. It's, it's a quite a new set, a rather new set from July, I think. Christmas in July set with a small page. And it has, um, where is it? I'm very organized today. Not at all. I don't know where it is, but... It's actually the, 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 the Christmas tree border and I uh, cut it twice and then I have these envelopes, uh, I glue them in between <laughs> so that now I have an envelope page. So <laughs> yeah, the, the colors are great, aren't they? So and I have um, yeah all these dyes in there as well. And I'm going to do something else to it so that it will be a prompt page on the back as well. So this is actually my handmade envelope page and I'm going to do the back of this one so I will get this out of here there we go 
So that's the journal. I don't have any room here, so it's going to be on the floor. Last week, I made a Christmas gift book. I did not have time, and I was very ill last week, so I did not have a lot of time. But uh, I just wanted to show you because it wasn't quite ready when I stopped last week. And um, this is it up to now. So I added all the snow. I didn't do that during the live. I ha even have, I don't know if you can see it, but I have crystal on the roof tiles. And the inside, the right side now is ready. But the flowers and, and well, everything, the wine. I love the wine <laughs> on there. I added a cupboard because there was nothing there. Uh, a plant from the art journal specials, a Christmas tree with the gifts from the sidekick. So this is uh, what I've got up to now. The kitchen arrived. So the kitchen will be added on the left side, but I just didn't have time yet. But I just wanted to show you because it wasn't quite finished last week. I will ooh, put that there. Okay, today I haven't had a lot of time to prepare. So I'm going to wing it today. Yeah, the, yeah, the Sita, it was a very nice. Uh, yeah, the pot plant on the, on the mantel is from the Art Journal Specials from the Home Jungle uh, series. Very great. This is actually uh, something I uh, wrote out yesterday night. I had about 10 minutes to think of something for today. And then I didn't have time to prepare. So I'm going to do everything now. Why not? Let's create it together. There you go. I have a lot of things and my idea is to combine the create a tag prompt together with gifts, the gifts prompt. And I'm going to make a pop-up element this way, no this way, a pop-up element like this in my planner. So it's like a card in my planner. I thought it would be a nice touch to do it like that. I'm going to make an upper page and a lower page. So yeah, it's going to be something like this. But I had to practice on this and I had to find the right size and I'm going to do it in centimeters now. But if I, I will post the, the one in inches as well. Uh, I don't have them here yet, but I will calculate it for you. And then I will post, when I post this, I will add the inches size as well. So it's, it's centimeters for now. And it's just a very simple but effective pop-up in my, in my planner. And I didn't want to do too much. And I really wanted to keep it, well, I didn't want to work too big. Because otherwise I cannot add all these pages in my planner. So this is it. This is what I came up with. This. It's cute though. I'm going to make I'm going to start with this. I have two pages here and I'm going to use the Christmas lives here paper. These are both from the Christmas lives here paper set. I'm sure you know it. I have the book three here because I don't have book five here. I still have to buy it. I'm saving up for that one, but I have the book three here. So I have a lot of paper here. Um, and I think I'm going to use the green as a base for this particular page. I'm going to use this one on another page. The stripes are great as well. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is the base page. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. Where is my paper? Here. So. I want to make this pop-up element and I'm going to do that with design paper. And I'm going to use the green, the same green as the background green, as a base for this card as well. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking of. But the other side is not really what I want, so I might do something else. I might use this one. Yeah. Why not? I'm going to do this one. I'm going to make the pop-up page with this paper. I 
I have written it down and I have calculated it yesterday and it should work. I'm going to use my paper cutter. This one. And it's uh, one that scores as well. So I don't need a, a separate scoreboard. This will do. And I'm going to use something else as well. Um, my pencil. Mm, there's too much in here. I can't find it over here. My embossing pen and my bone folder. Yeah. There we go. And I need this. Let's start at the beginning. I'm going to do it in centimeters at the moment, but I'm going to add the inches as well to when I post this card or this page. Oh, mine is very full, Belinda. It's really awful. <laughs> okay, the base is going to be 10 by 10 centimeters each page. So 10 by 20 in total. So this is 10 centimeters. This is going to be 20. And it's about, it's almost 8 inches. Um, and I'm going to score it in the middle. Oh, you don't cut it, score it. The black one is scoring and the white one is cutting. So now I have got my base. Then I need uh, a piece of paper and it can be a uh, a black paper, white paper, well, whatever. I think I can use this one, yeah. I uh, think so anyway, yeah. And it's going to be 4 by 9 centimeters. It's just a small piece of paper. <coughs> oh, I forgot to score. I have to score this one as well. On one centimeter, I have it here. One centimeter, then in the middle, and again, one centimeter at the end. So. So now I have, I have three score lines, one in the middle and one on each side, one centimeter from the end. That's all. I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going in. This is my middle score line and it's two and a half centimeters approximately and I'm just um, oh, use my pencil to mark the two and a half centimeters and this one will be marked at two three centimeters one two three one two three I'm then going to take my pencil and draw a line from one point to another, like this, on the other side as well. And now I have 
we have all a bit of a triangle. Yeah, sort of a triangle. I'm going to fold the score lines and use my bone folder to sharpen the edges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know Belinda, but um, I don't have any drinks here in my... It's just an hour. I will be fine. I managed last week, which was quite a thing. <laughs> Without coughing. And there we go. I'm using my embossing pen, but you can also use the very small part of your bone folder doesn't really matter and the triangle part needs to be oh it's not quite done I do need my embossing pen or I need more power Yeah, that's better. So what I was saying, I want the triangle to fold back. So I'm going to fold it like this. You see? Did you see what I was doing? I'm just folding it back. So it looks like this. So I have my edges, I have the triangle, and then I can f close it like this. And then I have my pop-up elements ready. It's not the most difficult pop-up, but it really works for, the, for in uh, scrapbooks or in uh, planners like this or in journals. It's just a fun extra thing for your planner. Okay. I'm going to take my cards and my pop-up element. And I'm going to put glue on the triangle, just the triangle. I'm going to take my cards and place it like this in the corner on one side of the pop-up element and then close it. So, I'm going to let it dry. Oh, I did that wrong. This is not the card I'm going to use as a pop-up element. Oh, really? This is the card I'm going to use on the cards itself. I need one more card. I'm not awake. <laughs> um, I need one more card and I need my... But I'm going to do exactly the same in a minute. But I was using this card instead of a new card for the pop-up. But you can use this one as well, a size like that, but you need a bigger planner or scrapbook. I need one more paper. Let's see which one. Let's take the book. Again, I only have book three here. Uh, well, this is a nice one. It's all nice, you can see I use it a lot. This is the same, but then with roses on the back. Let's see what I want to use. So many choices. Mm. Don't know. Maybe this one. This one will be nice. So, this paper, which is actually this small paper, in centimeters is 14 by 6.5. And, which is about. 
two and a half inches, I think. By five and a half, yeah. And again, um, you score it in the middle, so that's seven centimeters in this case. Now I'm taking my, <laughs> my pop-up element again. I'm putting on new glue on there. The other one dries up. Again, I'm taking the corner of my card. And I'm thinking I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know what. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just lining it up. And closing it and letting it dry again. So this is my pop-up element. It just needs to go into the cards. So this is my card, so to speak. If you line this up against the right side, then you have your element up there. You just tilt it a little bit. Like that, and it should go inside the card. This should be enough. Then I'm taking my glue again, and I'm just putting glue on the one centimeter part, the one I scored, closing my card, turning it over, and doing the same thing on the other side. Just a bit of glue or double-sided tape, closing it again. And yeah, my pop-up is ready. Just a fun element for the planner. But... You see, it fits perfectly because I adjusted the size to fit on my page. Again, I will place the inch, inch sizes as well in my post when I'm posting uh, this page. But it fits perfectly. Now, but it won't keep close in my planner if I leave it like this. It will open up. And if you have a full planner and go through it, then it might fold. And that's not very nice, is it? So I'm going to use my, uh, my fun element for the closing something my planner, which is uh, the turn mount with a very small uh, split pen. We call it bread, you call them, I think. I don't know if I use the right word for this, but this is what I use in my planners to close things. Uh, where is my planner here? I also use them here for uh, the envelopes. You see? It's a very fun um, item to use, but it needs to go here. So that's quite tight. I can do it exactly in between two holes. But this one, the bread, has to go in there as well. And I don't want it to go through my page to the other side. I don't want that. So what I'm doing is this. I'm using design paper over the white paper. Like this. The pop-up element is going here. And the turn mount is going to be here. 
Um, I don't know if it works perfectly, but oh yeah, here. I want my bread exactly on this spot. So where my pencil is there, I want a, a small hole. So I can use the turn mount and I'm going to use my scissors to make the very small hole. Yeah, the, yeah thank you, Deb. I love the envelopes as well. I make the envelopes uh, with a, a die from uh, Tim Holtz, but you can make this. I will just show you. This is the, the Christmas tree border from Elizabeth Craft Designs, which I die cut it twice and I made those envelopes and just glue them in between. And so now I have an envelope page. <laughs> it's very, very simple, but it's effective. Yeah. Thanks, Rosita. It's, it's really fun to do, right? It's fun to make. Just, I just need a very small hole for the turn mount. And I'm going to add the turn mount first before gluing my page. Through the hole. Where's the hole? Oh, too much light. I don't see the hole anymore. Yep, there it is. Hello. It doesn't want to listen to me. Yeah, there we go. It will stay there. Great. Now I can glue down the, the design paper. And I'm just using glue or you can use whatever ever you like. I know there are people who don't like the glue but use the double-sided tape. I use double-sided tape a lot but also well in these cases I just glue down the page on my original page. Oh, <laughs> wrong way around. And I like to do this because when I use glue, I can still move around the paper a bit. Oh. No, 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 no. I did not do that good. Um, when you're doing a live, it's quite difficult to see because you're not on top of your page. I will try again. I think it's better. I have so much trouble doing this, but I do now. I don't know why. No, it's still not good, but I will leave it at this and I will think of a solution. No, 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 no. Why am I having so much trouble? Strange. I will think of something. Now, as you can see, I will just, I can now glue down the pop-up elements and use the turn mount to keep it closed in my planner. It won't open all the time when I'm going through my planner. Yeah. I might just, no, I'm not going to glue it down yet. I'm going to do something else with it. But that's done. I think most hobby shops have those turn mounts, but you can use um, like magnetic, uh, small magnetic circles as well. You can use that too. But I uh, like using, um, okay, do I still like this? Yeah, I still like that. 
it's a fun thing in my planner okay so on the inside i'm going to make uh, the gifts on there just uh, for the the gift prompt um, and i'm going to use a number here as well i don't know if i have it here but i want to die cut a number or stamp a number maybe i can stamp it a number the and the, the number of the prompt that is i think three for gifts i think it's three and this is going to be my gift page on the on the other side this side is going to be my create a tag page Uh, and I did not have time to prepare, I told you at the beginning, but I have my dice here. These are gift dice from the Sidekick um, collection. And this is also the collection from last July. It's um, a very fun uh, collection and I have uh, one with a, a few of those trees as well. And the gifts. Let's start with the gifts because I want to add the gifts to my card inside the small card. I have uh, my mini uh, die cutting machine. There we go. And the one of the most, what I think is very difficult always, is choosing the colors. I don't know why, but I always struggle with choosing the colors and in this case I can use the green again uh, yeah again and I have yellow paper on there so yellow which one stands out let's see there's <laughs> too much going on here <laughs> It's the season, great paper, what paper is this, it's not from, oh yeah, oh no, I don't want to use this because it has the text as well. Too much nice paper. Is this one? With the text too, no. Let's see, is this a nice one? Don't know yet. Choosing is always difficult, right? Well, at least I think it is. I might use this one. And one more. and this one. Oh, market you have untouched books i have i use it <laughs> i use it a lot but even if you use it a lot it looks like you it just seems like in, it's never it's a never ending story with the books because there's so much paper in there Start with these two. Oh, Rosita, it's so just use them, they are so nice. I think it's it's just gorgeous paper for all kinds of projects. Whether it's Christmas or vintage or completely something else, it's all very nice. 
Um, let's do this one. Oh, you are all struggling with the boots. I just do it. I just go in there with the scissors. I do save everything, I must say. I never throw anything away when I still know I can use it. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. That works great. Now this one. going quiet but I just love to do this just the crafting part and thinking of what to do what colors to use what um, what I'm going to make yeah these first two are good That's one, and I'm going to make a few because I think it will be nice on the small cards. Yeah, Sue, so sometimes we just have to throw away some scraps, right? But I, I don't like doing that at all, but you kind of have to sometimes. But I must say from the reminiscence books, I use everything. I save everything. Okay, so the gifts are going to be on here. And you can see it's not enough yet. Yeah, and it's going to be perfectly fine. But do it like this, yeah. Just going to make a bit more. Let's do this one as well. And the big one again. And the square one. Oh. Did I do that right? No. This one. There is a base die and uh, another one from the for the gifts. I am um, yeah. Uh, to read, yeah, that's right. I'm using book three and the Christmas lifts here paper. I'm combining it because it's perfectly fine to combine it. Missing one? No. Doing it the right way. <laughs> so then I'm ready with my. I'm kind of struggling with my a bit of prompts. Uh, my favorite colors or something like that. Favorite colors because I have a lot of favorite colors. And I don't know why, but I'm kind of struggling with a. Uh, with that page it's going to be fine in the end but i have to think of which colors i want to use for that i actually write, uh, like red uh, but i don't use red a lot on my pages except for the christmas paper uh, pages ah you're struggling as well marjolein i'm not the only one oh good <laughs> Oh, not doing this the correct way. Uh, 
uh, yeah, this one, and which one as well? I don't know. Yeah, red is my favorite color to uh, Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, Marjolein, we can do a rainbow. My favorite color, the rainbow. <laughs> Or we do the primary colors and we say we can make all the colors we like from these uh, colors. <laughs> Ready? Okay, this one is done. That one is done. Not that one. Oh, blue. I missed that one, Sylvia. I didn't see yours uh, yet. I will scroll through the pages, but I have been a bit busy, so that's probably why I didn't see it yet. Almost ready. Something went wrong. That was strange. And one more. I'm out of paper with that one. I'll just use this one as well. Okay. Oh, you dyed the paper with coffee. That always has a great effect. I use tea as well. Tea and coffee. It always smells great. Okay. Now it should be enough. Let's uh, see. Where is it here? Yeah. I'm going to uh, try coloring paper with aubergine and stuff like that as well. I think <laughs> uh, the effect of that is going to be gorgeous. Those gifts are really cute. I've done them all now. No. That's the last one, I think. Yep. I'm going to glue them here. don't know which number the this die set has from the sidekick but uh, if Anya is here they will let, she will let us know because I'm sure she knows or can look it up
Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't interfere with the pop-up. That will be fine. And the last one. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it said 1968, the one with the gifts. Yeah. And it works perfectly fine with the pop-up elements. It doesn't interfere with, uh, it's not too thick. Yeah. Okay, now I can glue it down. And I have to make sure... That my turn mount will fit over the pop-up. Yeah, it's perfect like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pop-up elements are always very cute, right? So now I have a pop-up element. Which is very flat. You see? This is how it goes. There we go. Yeah, Else is, uh, is sending a message that uh, th there were actually two people uh, who thought they were going live tonight. Um, Something went wrong, but we already had contact else, so it doesn't matter. We already had contact and... Uh... Okay, so I have a, f a very flat but pop-up element in my planner. And this is also the prompt gifts. And I'm going to add a number here. So it's the number of the prompt, which will be, I think, number three. It's going to be on there. But then not ready yet. I'm going to create a tag as well. And I'm going to do it on this page. And there's going to be a third prompt here. So I'm doing three prompts on one page. And that's sort of... Um, very okay if you're working in a planner, but I see a lot of different albums coming by with the December prompts. It's uh, very uh, diverse. I'm going to use um, this die from uh, the Art Journal uh, specials. I'm going to adjust it so that it fits here. I'm going to add the text in here. Again, I need to choose a color. I think I'm going to use Christmas lips here paper for this. Um, I really love the paper. I, you can see I use it a lot. <laughs> yeah, but well, this is the thing. I might use the back of this, but it will blend in with the red of the paper here too much, I think. What's this? I can use a darker shade, or I could use this side. Hmm. All possibilities. Look at this, just so gorgeous. 
Yeah, this might be good as well. Or the one with the letters, why not? Hmm, choices, choices. Let's see. It's going to be this one. And I need... Let's do this. Oh. Uh, no, Antoinette, I did not make that uh, today. I just showed it. the score line which is quite difficult so I don't know why that's my bone folder yeah this is really a necessary thing if you craft with paper right this you needed to sharp all the edges. This is going to be placed on here and I'm just going to cut off the excess. Yeah, I think this will be nice. With the mousse, yeah, I think there are a lot of elements that will fit in perfectly on a page like this. This should be okay. Fine, yeah. Ja, wel trusten. Tot morgen. Ja. Just saying good night to my son who's going to bed. It's almost nine o'clock in the evening here. So bedtime uh, for 11 year olds, right? There we are. So create a tag and I have a lot of them here. Um, let's see. Yes, he is Belinda. He still wants to learn, and I, he even talks English to me when he, whenever he can, can. So he still really wants to learn. Let's use a few. It's almost noon where you live, Penny. Yeah, well, it's very, very black outside here. It's very dark already. It has been since four o'clock this afternoon. We are really in the winter time at the moment. 
and the, the shortest day is coming. <clears throat> so now when I go to work, I go to work uh, when it's dark and I come home when it's dark and I, it's, it's, it's a very dark time. <laughs> I always like it when it <clears throat> the sun is coming back, the daylight is coming back. So I really miss the daylight sometimes in these periods. Almost two o'clock, yeah. It's so different where we are. Yeah, it really, uh, the shortest day of the year. Which day is that? I think it's the 24th of December here in the Netherlands. I'm looking at my husband, if he knows. The shortest day of the year, the 24th of December? 21st. 21st? 21st of December, yeah. It's all, it's, it's December, um, to, again, it's already December tomorrow, so it's going very fast. But as soon as the day is behind us, then it will get lighter very fast again, so fine. Let's create a few tags. Paper is too thin. I need uh, thicker paper for the for the tags. Use this. There are always two kinds of papers in these uh, books. And for the text, I need the thicker paper. Yeah, this one. I used it for flowers, I think. Let's see. It's very cold where you are, Dorothy. Oh. I think um, you are used to it because I, I can imagine it's like that every winter. But here in the Netherlands, when it's cold like that, everything just the world stops. Nothing is possible anymore. The trains just don't drive anymore. Nothing, nothing works anymore. I think we are not used to very cold winters anymore here in the Netherlands. forget the amount of time the die cutting uh, costs but I'm trying my best to be fast <laughs> um, I will just keep going just for a, a few minutes otherwise the life is going to be too long 
but you know I will always show you the end results. And this is just me crafting, you know, it's what we all do, I think, uh, when we have time. Uh, where is it? Where's my page? Oh, it's under a, <laughs> a stack of paper. Okay, now one more. Yeah, one more. And of course, I'm going to use uh, the reinforcers here as well, here as well. Yeah, and I'm, what I'm going to do, and I'm, I don't have time for that now, but around this tag, of course, I will use a reinforcer, but I'm going to use um, this one or the stamp. I have the stamp here, I think. No. I love the stamp. Here it is. Yeah. With all kinds of uh, nice images. And I might use that inside the ring as well. This is going to be uh, around here. And then I'm going to put it in here. And, and then I'm going to just decorate the whole page. And I have two prompts ready. Or almost ready. Not quite ready. I'm not there yet. Because um, I think it's too much of a stripey thing. So I will add something here as well. And then a third prompt will be made down here. So the other half of the page. And I'm planning on this look. This, this is the kind of look I want on all my pages. So you can imagine I will add more to this one. Yeah. Okay. I will just um, keep it at this. Uh, I think you know what I mean. I'm just going to add a lot of more stuff. So this is my quite flat page with the pop-up element. I will show you like this. Which is just a quite an easy and fun element for the for in the planner. And I'm closing the page with my turn mount. I've made a corner with uh, in which I will just place the tags on there, and then I have two prompts ready. Good. I hope to have been able to inspire you a little bit for the December prompts. Will be uh, yeah, that will be starting tomorrow. It's the first of December. Oh, it's going so fast! Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would love to see you in next time, and otherwise, I will see you in the Facebook group. Thank you so much, and bye bye.